much. All right. So what I want to do through right now is I want to go through the different fitting configurations that Vega has to offer for your steam piping application. Uh, so as you can see here, I have two and a half inch 90s going into a three inch header steam header and then my main going up. Now, again, you could have double T's going up, mains going different ways. You don't want a bullhead T because bullhead T again could create some wet steam. So that's why here when I come off and I go into my equalizer, I actually have a three inch by inch and a half reducer. So there's a few different T's configurations that we make and more of these configurations will come out uh, as we start producing more and more large bore fittings. But as you can see here, because it's, I got two and a half inch on the side, I'm coming in and I have a three inch T, but it's a three by three by two and a half. So this can roll in, but then because it's a ranch, I have a three by two and a half inch reducer right there going in. So you can actually see that right here. So this is the setup as you can see. So I have a three by three by two and a half. And then I just have this reducer going right into there to pick up that header. And white dot, white stickers, FKM ceiling elements. So we got that right there. That's rolling in. And then I come up and I have a three by three by two inch riser coming up into a service valve into what uh, traditionally you know, I've learned from the steam fitters, it's called a king valve, right? So this is more for servicing, so it's always good. So we have a three-piece mega press ball valve. It actually has an ISO flange right here, bolt flange. So you can actually actuate this flange too. So for commercial applications, if I had to place a, a building maintenance actuator on here so I can actuate this valve open, closed, I can do that as well. Vega doesn't offer the actual actuating valve itself, your local distributor or wholesaler would, that would actually mount up to this. And uh, if you contact us in tech support, we can actually give you the bolt, you know, the ISO flange that it is, and we can actually give you the torque specs as well. So you can get the right actuator for these valves. But this is a three piece, two inch mega press valve. We are actually launching valving all the way up to four inch. So stay tuned on that. We'll have a training, probably some sneak peeks on Instagram and Facebook and all the social media platforms, maybe in the next training but we actually have up to four inch mega press valves launching soon. So you're gonna see all that. We also have flange adapters and butterfly valves. So you can, you can do valving that way as well. So with flanges too, you can see if, if somebody wants to put some flanges in here, some companion flanges for service, we actually do have our flanges. So this happens to be a three piece flange right here. I mean, a one piece flange. It's an ANSI class 150 bolt pattern. And this is three inch one piece raised face. So it is a raised face on there. Uh, and it's the ANSI 150, all the markings and everything right there on there. So you know exactly what you're getting and what that application is. So we have that. So you can do flanges as well. We also have unions. So you can see down below coming off my equalizer, I have a union here. So depending on where you want to put unions, we have unions up to, so half to two inch on our unions. So you can put unions in your system as well to break that apart for serviceability, things like that. So we have our mega press unions. All of this that you're seeing that I'm showing is carbon steel. So you have a carbon steel fitting system right here.